I just feel like it just needs to be discussed more because people don't really people see it as like oh my god what is going on Aww, thanks for saying hi I love when y'all come up and say hey to me <laughs> Hi guys, so before I start this vlog, I want to thank some people who bought from my registry. Ashley Gray, Sandra E. Shaw, and Kaya Davis. I hope I'm saying all y'all names correctly. Thank you so much for purchasing from my registry. And excuse me if I sound weird, one of my ears is like stopped up. It's been congested for like this whole week. And so I don't know how loud I'm talking and it just... I just feel really congested. I don't know if it's allergies. I don't know if it's the pregnancy, but my ears stopped up. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that before I start this vlog. So yeah, enjoy the vlog. What's popping, y'all? I just got out of class. Um, I'm about to go to my next class. Oh man. Shoot. I forgot. Wait, he kind of answered that in class. Kind of answer that in class. I think I should be straight. Anyways, anyways, yeah, I'm about to go to my next class. I really need to go by the student center though because I need to get um, a scantron for my test tomorrow because this school don't be trying to um, supply scantrons so. By the way, this is one of the new hoodies I got from Target. Kind of cute, kind of cute. I like it, it's comfortable. I think it's in a size of medium and it fits. So yeah, but let me see if I got time to go buy this. Um, do I slit, gotta pee. I probably got some. Oh, look at the baby. Somebody has a baby. Anyway. That Chick fil A smell good, though, y'all. I remember. Y'all haven't been to the student center in a while. But I remember. I'm not going to walk through the student center because I don't feel like going throughout it. I would just rather walk through the market. But I remember in my first trimester when I would come by the student center. I would literally get sick to my stomach because of the Chick-fil-A. And now it just smells so good. I literally think, if you're watching this, I think somebody recognized me. I think I heard them say that I was from YouTube. But anyway, I'm up in here. Let me see. They usually just have the scantrons somewhere there they go i think they're right here wait these are blue books where are the scantrons oh here they go i need one zero six one seven three yeah hi oh you do i was literally just saying i think i just said somebody said that i was from youtube but i don't know oh y'all are so cute <laughs> Aw, thanks for saying hi. You're I love when y'all come up and say hey to me. But yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you. Okay. Okay. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Life pro tip. If somebody holds the door for you, if somebody, if you're walking through and somebody holds the door for you, say thank you. Okay, because they didn't have to do that. They could have let the door shut in your face. Okay. I know I'm not the only one whose parents taught them manners, but a lot of people don't know that. So, you know, I'm just spread the word, you know, on my vlog. 
but yeah but yeah y'all i'm about to get off this vlog and go ahead and try to make it to class probably try to use the bathroom so i will talk to y'all later bye hey guys i've been absent from the vlog for like this whole week like the rest did i even start this vlog yeah i believe i did start the vlog but i told i remember i told y'all last vlog that i had two tests a paper and a quiz this week and so like that's all i've been focused on and so i've been absent from anything else um and um so hold on i got my pizza over there that i'm about to eat after i update y'all real quick but so yeah so update i got an a on both of my tests praise god hallelujah thank you jesus um i'm waiting on my other grades to come back but i got an a on both of my tests so i'm really happy about that starting off school strong as usual um i know a lot of people seemed not a lot of people but some people seem kind of concerned um in my last vlog because i was really stressed out and i'm here to say i'm okay i'm fine like um i'm fine uh I feel like some I feel like a lot of people I feel like sometimes people don't understand that like stress is normal um anxiety is normal um and me personally I've never been one to hide my stress I've never been one to like hide when I'm feeling some type of way Ew, I don't like how my phone is vibrating Oh shoot, that's the email. It's probably saying I need to do something. Anyway, but, and I use YouTube as like an outlet to just like vent sometimes. I don't, I, obviously I don't vent all my business, but I do speak, you know, I do try to get things out because I feel like it helps me. And so I feel like some of y'all were concerned because y'all was like, oh my gosh, she's stressed. She's in her third trimester of pregnancy she she needs to, like she needs to like maybe stop doing school or blah, blah, blah. like no i'm okay like if i wasn't in school i would be stressed or if i wasn't pregnant i would be stressed like because i'm just somebody who always has a lot to do and has a lot going on in general and so sometimes i get these surges of good stress that push me to do what i need to do or sometimes i just get stressed like regularly and it's fine like and i feel like i just tweeted out um a couple minutes ago that i feel like the topic of depression um i should have added stress in that as well but the topics of depression and stress those aren't discussed in the black women community it's not discussed and it's because black women are expected to be strong and have everything together all the time we're expected to do much when we're in reality we have so much against us and we're a double minority in america you know and so we're looked down upon by a lot of people and but at the same time we're expected to you know just keep this like strong black woman mentality you know what i'm saying and so people see it as abnormal people see it as like a problem people see it as like an issue is people see it as like oh my god is she gonna kill herself just because a black woman voices that you know what i'm stressed you know what i'm depressed you know and that's not always the case it's normal it's it's normal okay so um I just feel like it just needs to be discussed more because people don't really people see it as like oh my god what is going on when i'm like black women are human you know what i'm saying and so it happens and like i said i'm fine now but maybe tomorrow i'll be stressed again because there'll be 20 other things that i have to do but that's just the reality of the situation and really i just feel like it's really how you manage it you know what i'm saying it's how you deal with it for me i pray that helps me once i pray i feel better and everything just seems to work out after that um everything does work out after that um 
other women they do you know other things me i lean on god i don't feel like i need like professional help or anything because like i said it's not that deep it's normal um so yeah um i'm just going to go ahead and eat my pizza probably do an assignment that i need to do um and yeah i just wanted to update y'all hope everybody is having a great day because i feel really accomplished right now i know there's more you know hills to overcome but you know i'm just feeling really accomplished that my grades are starting out good you know what i'm saying and i'm pregnant and i be tired all the time and i'm still doing good i'm still out here grinding you know what i'm saying still out here shining still out here grinding so yeah um i'll talk to y'all later bye hey guys this is grandma aka gg jumping in on another vlog with grandma cam as you guys know we are so filled with expectation my grandson is due november 9th the waiting is hard i mean it is what it is so as a remedy i decided to take up a hobby knitting for the first time to you know help with the waiting it actually works it kind of you know keeps me calm and helps me to wait so for my first try, you know, at knitting, I just wanted to show you, you know, some of the things that I did so that I could, you know, learn how to actually get the yarn, you know, um, what they call do knitting, knit stitching, or do the garter stitch as, it, as it's called. So I want to show you something right here. So this is the garter stitch and this was like, you know, my first try so we're gonna call this a cup holder or we can call it a hot mess it don't matter it's the first try but I did manage to master the garter stitch so I learned how to get you know my yarn on these actual needles and um, after I got the garter stitch down pack a little bit more I did you know my first scarf and you know i'm a newbie there's a lot to learn but i mastered the garter stitch as you can see everything is kind of nice and even and all so it worked out i'll be rocking this pretty soon when the temperature changes so this was an attempt you know to do it in a different color and to just continue you know to learn the garter stitch so that'll be probably a blanket so one thing I learned was I like the bamboo needles better because these needles, I mean, they just, you have to kind of not be a newbie to really get a neat stitch on this. So the yarn kind of slides on and off kind of easily, but with the bamboo or wood needles, I find it to be very helpful. So last but not least, one of the reasons why I decided to um, let you guys know that I took up knitting, you know, now that I'm a grandma and all, I am working on something for Princess. So I'm going to do a scarf for her. And I plan to jump back in on the blog at some point and show you the finished product. So happy day to you guys. Hope all is well and signing off on the grandma cam what's popping y'all so today i'm going to be doing kind of like a fun video i don't know i like watching videos like this let me open my door because i don't know i hate when my door is closed what am i talking about anyway um today basically i'm going to be kind of revamping my room I'm gonna make it kind of more baby friendly because I want to be able to fit my bassinet in here. But also I want it to be a better workspace for me because I work from home, I do YouTube, so I need I need it to like be more like that because I hate like doing work in my bed and stuff because it can get uncomfortable like hunching over and stuff. So, um, as y'all know, I already got new video equipment before my baby came. And I also got a new desk. 
Can y'all see that? I also got a new desk. It's right there. So I'm going to show y'all what my room looks like right now. And then I'm going to show y'all what it looks like after. And obviously y'all will see the process of like making it better. So yes, here we go. So here is what my room looks like right now. If you, here's the door. So if you turn, my room is very, very, very basic, very empty looking. Um, so have this little cube organizer with my TV on it and it has like different like things on it to make it look cute. Those are all the pillows that are usually on my bed, but I take them off when I go to sleep because I can't sleep with all those pillows on my bed. And plus, I these pillows are like decorative. So if you're wondering where I got these pillows from, people think that all of this came in a set. It didn't. I used to have two of these, but the other one is gone now. But this this came in a pack of two and it's from Marshall's, this fluffy pillow. And then those three pillows, um, I ordered the actual pillows from Amazon and then I had to order the cases for the pillows separately from Amazon so yeah and so those are just like square pillows all you gotta do is look up rose gold pillowcases they'll come up super cute they have a lot of super cute ones I kind of want to get more so yeah and also got my silk these I think these are silk pillowcases the black ones from Amazon because I don't look, like to sleep with a scarf on my head. So yeah, that's why my hair always be looking messed up. And then over there is just like video equipment. My Xbox is sitting on a trash can. <laughs> and then I just have my clothing rack. Y'all know, y'all seen that before. And here's my bed. My bed is also from Amazon. Listen, listen, listen. 90% of my room is from Amazon, okay? I order everything from Amazon. Um, so yeah. But yeah, my bed is also from Amazon. And yeah, and people always ask me where these lights are from, these strip lights. They are also from Amazon. All you gotta do is search up LED strip lights. So yeah, um, I think I wanna get like a picture to hang over my bed because I think that would be cute. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. And so yeah, I'm gonna keep my bed like this because I like the idea of like a picture up there. And then, um, I mean, technically I don't have to keep my bed like this, but I, here's the thing, here's the thing. I like to sit on my bed when I film videos, you see? And like, I usually like have my pillows on my bed. Um, I was thinking of turning my bed like this so that the headboard would be like window but, and then having my desk right here, and then, um, yeah, having my desk right here, like turning it, desk right there, maybe clothing rack, and then TV over here. But the only issue with that is, I feel like my background will look kind of weird. I don't know, I just like my background right now and I feel like I regret it, so yeah. Um, so this is my vanity, my old vanity. Everything, it, it's literally a catch-all, like I put everything on top of it. I got it from Amazon as well. Um, just a regular old vanity. Um, I'm getting rid of it because it doesn't match the rest of my room. I could obviously just DIY paint it white, but I really don't like it that much anymore. And somebody broke the seat that came with it while I was off at college. I don't know who, nobody wants to fess up, but somebody broke it and nobody ever replaced it. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. So, um, I got this from Amazon too, I believe. This little organizer for my makeup, uh, I got it from Amazon. So yeah, I'm um, gonna be keeping that because it matches my room, so yeah. 
Um, so yeah, this is my room. And y'all already seen my closet. I think I showed y'all that in a get ready with me. If y'all wanna see it, y'all can go click on that video. Um, so I'm going to be basically fixing this area up because this is like the worst part of my room like the worst part and so yeah it just looks real ratchet over here um so we gonna fix it up okay we are gonna set y'all up right here but this desk right here that i have a white rug that i want to put down because this carpet is disgusting for a baby so yeah and um Cause I like to walk in here with my shoes on sometimes and like spill juice. So yeah, baby can't be rolling around on this. And um, also wanna put up his bassinet in here. This is the Green Forest um, Arlet Glass um, Okay, this might be trickier than I thought. <laughs> you want to wind up a piece before you get started? No. My God. This girl. Alright guys, my battery died, but I have two spare batteries, so yeah. So I was able to put this in and continue the video. So, I've gotten the table basically, focus please, basically almost done. What's up, moved my mirror over there, moved that thing right here. And so, I just have to finish screwing this middle piece on and um yeah but what i wanted to do is i realized i need to vacuum my floor so that i can put the rug down and then go ahead and finish the table so that it just makes it easier so yeah that's what i'm about to do
threw it down and now my lower back hurts. Feels like it needs to be popped. I need to do an exercise my mom taught me. All right guys, so I am finally done with my room um, for now. You know, there's still a couple things I wanna do, but for this video, I am done. So I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like now with the desk and everything. So yeah. So here it is from this corner when you first walk in. Here's my bed and then you go over, mirror, and then boom, desk, work area. Don't have a chair yet, but I just like that I finally have like a work area, not just like a catch-all vanity right there. So we have the, van the clear desk, and it's just like, this is like my editing area, and then this would be like makeup, so yeah. Um, and then I just put like a little bin down there for like books and then a trash can. So like a chair would be like in the middle somewhere over here. And I also plan on putting like two pictures right there and like maybe a picture over my bed. So that's basically what I have left to do. And then, you know, my door and then I have my drawer unit right there and then my closet. So, yep, that is my room and I plan on putting my baby's bassinet right here for him so that you know he can be right next to me so yeah so yeah guys that is it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you are new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button so that you can be a part of the notification squad because the area is on the come up and we're taking them YouTube one video is I'm Ice Member. Don't stress, stay blessed, I'm out. Bye.